Good afternoon, everyone. Alaupa Sitaram, Assalamu Alaikum. Unfortunately, we are here gathered for the funeral of our dear mother, grandmother, Jennifer Mohammed, also known as Baby. This is not going to be a long procession because of COVID-19 restrictions. I'd like to call first on my brother Christopher to say the opening prayer. Afternoon. O Lord, for those whose mercy hath encompassed all, whose forgiveness is transcendent, whose beauty, sorry, bounty is sublime, whose pardon and generosity are all embracing, and with the light of those forgiveness are diffused throughout the world. O Lord of glory, I entreat thee fervently and tearfully to cast upon the ha thy handmaiden who hath ascended unto thee the glances of the eye of thy mercy. Robe her in the mantle of thy grace, bright with the ornaments of celestial paradise, and sheltering her beneath the tree of thy oneness. Illumine her face with the light of thy mercy and compassion. Bestow upon thy heavenly handmaiden, O God, the holy fragrances born of the spirit of thy forgiveness. Cause her to dwell in the blissful abode. Heal her, heal her griefs with the balm of thy union. And in accordance with thy will, grant her admission of thy holy paradise. Let the angels of thy loving kindness descend successively upon her and shelter her beneath thy blessed tree. Thou art verily the ever forgiven, the most generous, the all bountiful. We will now have the first Baha'i reading, it will be shared by Nafli Muhammad. The spirit or human soul is the rider, and the body is only the steed. If anything affects the steed, the rider is not affected by it. The spirit may be likened to the light within the lantern. The body is simply the outer lantern. If the lantern should break, the light is ever the same, because the light could shine even without the lantern. The spirit can, can conduct its affairs without the body. Taken from the promulgation of universal peace, talks delivered by Abdul Baha during his visits to the United States and Canada. Reading two, question. Through what means can the spirit of man, the rational soul, progress after departing this mortal world? Answer. The progress of the human spirit in the divine world after its connection with the physical body has been severed is either purely through the grace and bounty of the Lord or through the intercession and prayers of human souls or through the significant contributions and charitable deeds which are offered in its name. Taken from questions by Baha'u'llah. Abdul Baha, sorry. I'll now like to ask Pastor Joel to come and give remarks. Good evening. Sister Jennifer Mohammed was a member of the Palmyra Evangelistic Center. She faithfully served, she opened up a home for services. 
And today, on behalf of the membership of the Palmyra Evangelistic Center, I would like to extend condolences to the family. She believed in the Bible, the word of the Lord. The Bible, she held on to very dearly. I want to read a few scriptures taken from the word of the Lord today. The Bible says, I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh I shall see God, who I shall see for myself, and my eye shall behold, and not another. Thou shalt guide me with thy counsel, and afterward receive me to glory. Whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon the earth that I desire besides thee. My flesh and my heart faileth, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. These things said he, and after that he said unto them, Our friend Lazarus sleepeth, but I go that I may awake him out of sleep. Then said his disciples, Lord, if he sleep, he shall do well. Howbeit Jesus spake of his death, but they thought they had spoken of taking rest in sleep. Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. And I will receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. For now I am ready to be offered, and my time of departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not only to me, but also all those that love his appearing. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be unto God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I want to read a scripture and I want you to join me this evening. The book of Psalms, chapter 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, do I walk to the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy star, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever the psalmist David one of the greatest kings that has ever lived on the face of the earth he lived for 70 years he had such a close relationship with God and so he said one day I will come to the end of my life one day I will say goodbye to my friends and to my family and to all those that I love. What is there next after death? The Bible tells us that God has created us with a body, a soul, and a spirit. The body is subject 
to sickness and disease and infirmity. But the soul and the spirit lives on forever. The Bible goes on to tell us precious in the eyes of the Lord are the death of his sins. God never sees his children die. He simply sees them coming home. There is a time to be born and there is a time to die. The body we will have to leave behind. But what about the soul and the spirit? The flesh dies and is buried, but the spirit lives forever with Jesus Christ. I want to let you know that Sister Muhammad, from all the reports that I'm hearing, she was one that loved Jesus Christ. She was one that served him diligently with all her heart. And so as we gather here this evening to say our final farewells and goodbyes, we feel a sense of sorrow and we feel a sense of pain. But the Bible goes on to tell us weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Where is Sister Muhammad today? Is this death, is that the finality? Is that the end of her life? The Bible tells us in John chapter 3 and verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. As a Christian, as a child of God, we believe in a place called heaven. Where is heaven today? Amen. The word of God tells us, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither have it entered into the hearts of men, the things that God has prepared for them that love him. Amen. This dear lady loved her Savior. This dear lady loved her God. So when she breathed her last few breaths, when she said her final farewells and goodbyes to her family, she knew her eternal destiny was secure. She had given her life to Jesus. She had served Jesus Christ with all her heart and she knew where she was going. She knew her eternal destiny today. Amen. The Bible tells us to be absent in this body is to be present with the Lord. Amen. We have not lost this dear lady. You lose someone when you don't know where they are. She is. We know where she is this evening. She's in the portals of glory, worshiping and praising her Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ today. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we thank God for her life today. And her example, if she could only say something to us, if she could only speak to us and say something, what would she say? She might say to us, listen, I want you to join me where I am today. I want you to come and I want you to be with me. How do we get to heaven this evening? How do we reach to the portals of glory today? The Bible tells us Thomas asked Jesus a question. He said, Jesus, show us the way. How do we get to glory? How do we get to heaven? And Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No man cometh unto the Father save to Jesus and Jesus Christ alone. She would say to her children, get yourself in order. She would say to her grandchildren, get your lives in order. She would say to the family, let us live good. Let us live happy as you always wanted us to live. She would say to them, live on the way we live. And the person that we serve will determine our eternal destiny today. Amen. She gave her life to Jesus Christ. She secured her eternal destiny today. Amen. How are we going to get to heaven this evening? The Bible tells us through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. So if you want to see her again, there is going to be a time, a family reunion. One day, never on the shores of Trinidad, never on the shores of this planet Earth. But there is going to be a reunion this evening. Amen. 
on the portals of glory today. Hallelujah. We will see again in a full health, in a full strength, the way that God made her, the way that God created her, we will see her again. There is no more sickness in heaven. There is no more pain in heaven. There are no hospitals in heaven. There are no doctors in heaven this evening. Heaven is a place of eternal rest and eternal joy. The Bible tells us this evening, amen. To get your life in order. In Psalm 23 and verse 6, David said, When I leave this earth, when I leave my family behind, he says, I'm going to be dwell. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord. I shall live in God's house forever and forever. Amen. I want to close with this scripture this evening. For those that cry, we must mourn. We must weep. We will miss up. When the memories come back to our minds, a tear will flow to our throat of our eyes. We will miss her very dearly. She will never come back again on this earth. But we have God's word that gives us consolation today. Psalms chapter 46 says, God is our refuge and strength. Amen. He is a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear even though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, through its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its, dwell with its swelling. Have you ever felt overwhelmed and you felt that you will not be able to bear another heavy load? It can seem like when you get to one challenge, another challenge comes along and you wonder where is Almighty God? Does he not care? Has he forsaken us? Is he punishing me? You feel helpless and all alone. And you go through the feeling of despair and of defeat. I want to remind you of the words of Jesus. He said that I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I will be with you even unto the end of this world. When our dear sister took her last breath, who was there with her? Her Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And she made a smooth transition from this earth into heaven this evening. Amen. This evening as we bow our heads in prayer. Amen. We want to pray that prayer that Jesus taught his disciples to pray. If you know it, then I want you to say it with us today. The prayer that Jesus taught his disciples to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that have trespassed against us. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and forever. Amen and amen. God bless you this evening. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. I'll just like to let everyone on the live stream know that we are going to have an Islamic prayer being played now, followed by a Hindu prayer. Um, the people who are here right now, you all are not going to be able to see those prayers. It will be streamed on a live stream. However, after the ceremony is done and you all get to your phones, you can view after. So now I'll let the guys put on the dua and the Hindu prayer. كما رحمتني صغيرة اللهم ارحم أمي كما رحمتني صغيرة اللهم أسعد أمي كما أسعدتني كبيرة اللهم أسعد أمي كما أسعدتني كبيرة اللهم تقبل من أمي أعمالها 
صغيرها وكبيرها اللهم اجعل أمي من الذين لا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون وأكرمنا بالفردوس الأعلى من الجنة يا الله اللهم ارحم أمي كما رحمتني صغيرا اللهم ارحم أمي كما رحمتني صغيرا اللهم أسعد أمي كما أسعدتني كبيرا اللهم أسعد أمي كما أسعدتني كبيرا اللهم تقبل من أمي أعمالها صغيرها وكبيرها اللهم اجعل أمي من الذين لا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون وأكرمنا بالفردوس الأعلى من الجنة يا الله शनो मित्र शंवरुण शनो भवत्यारम शनैन्द्रो बृहस्पति शनो विष्णु उरुक्रम ओम नमो ब्राह्मणे नमस्ते वायु तमेव प्रत्यक्ष ब्रह्मासे तमेव प्रत्यक्ष ब्रह्मा वदिष्यामि रितम वदिष्यामि सत्यम वदिष्यामि धनमामवतो तरवक्तारमवतो अवतो मामवतो वक्तारमा ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम ओम नमो परमात्माए नमः ओम शनो मित्र शंवरुण शनो भवत्यारम शनैन्द्रो बृहस्पति शनो विष्णु उरुक्रम ओम नमो ब्राह्मणे नमस्ते वायु तमेव प्रत्यक्ष ब्रह्मासे तमेव प्रत्यक्ष ब्रह्मा वदिष्यामि रितम वदिष्यामि सत्यम वदिष्यामि धनमामवतो तरवक्तारमवतो अवतो मामवतो वक्तारमा ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम ओम नमो परमात्माए नमः Okay, hi. Um, so we're back there. The I now call on my sister Lauren to do the second Baha'i reading. Good afternoon, everyone. All men have proceeded from God, and unto him shall all return. All shall appear before him for judgment. He is the Lord of the day of resurrection, of regeneration, and of reckoning. And his revealed word, word is the balance. True death is realized when a person dieth to himself at the time of his revelation, in such wise that he seeketh not except him. True resurrection from the subhellas 
means to be quickened in conformity with his will, through the power of his utterance. Paradise is a tenet of his good pleasure and everlasting hellfire, his judgment true justice. The day he revealeth himself in resurrection day, which shall last as long as he ordaineth. Everything belongeth unto him and is fashioned by him. All besides him are his creatures, taken from selections from the writings of the Bible. We we'll now have the eulogy, which will be done by myself. We all come from God, and unto him do we return. Before I start reading this afternoon, I would like to mention that this eulogy was written by myself and also edited by the children and grandchildren of, of our dear beloved Jennifer Muhammad. My role is really to read on my family's behalf, so instead of me saying grandma or mama, you may hear me saying ma or mommy where applicable. Our matriarch has now ascended to the most high. So this is our eulogy. Firstly, I would like to thank everyone for being here and to all who offered their prayers, love, comfort and support to our family throughout the entire time. Mama would have been very happy to know all of you all are here with us today. Unfortunately, some members of the family couldn't be here because of COVID-19 restrictions. There's so much that could have been said here today, but because of time restrictions, I have to keep it short. And you all know I can't do that, right? <laughs> so here it goes. Jennifer Mohammed, also known as Baby, or Mama, was born on the 28th of February, 1940, to her parents, Elvira, Joseph, and Butchun Elahi, in Navid Village, San Fernando. She had two siblings, Doris, now deceased, and Joycey. Life was tough on Mama, as her parents would have died while she was a little girl. She was then adopted by her uncle, Philip, from a tender age of eight years old and resided in Palmyra from then till her passing. There she would have played a very instrumental role in the upbringing of her cousins, who were not just cousins to her, but siblings, some of them who even saw her as a second mother to them. Just to name a few, Uncle Aie, Trevor, Dula, Boy, Esau, Pinky, Jenny, Golly, and the late Lolly Boy whom she loved dearly. She would have had the pleasure of being taught Christianity from her uncle, where she in, turn, in return shared her knowledge and understanding with her friends and family. Despite her trial, she would have then married her loving husband, the late Nazar Joe Mohammed, on the 19th of March, 1957, at the age of 16 years. She must have really loved my grandfather because she then gave birth to nine children, seven boys and two girls, Manin, Myra, Tony, Junior, Bonnie, Tali, Sharona, Penny, and her baby boy, Jimmy. Learning a lot about Islam, Tripapi, and Christianity from her uncle Trevor, uh, sorry, uncle Philip, she became very spiritual and learned a lot about religion. She taught all her children the meaning of prayer and about service to God. In the mid-1970s, Mommy and Papi would have learned about the wonderful teachings of the Baha'i faith. Mommy worked hard to care for her nine children as she walked from Palmyra to Vistabella to be a maid and a babysitter for, the, for Dr. Peter Hussein. Years after my grandfather would have made a small parlor for her, so she would continue being the independent little shorty 
as he fondly called her. It is with that parlor she provided to her family. Mommy's favorite songs was 10,000 Reasons and to Kittini Achihe. Her love for nature, plants, and animals was beyond words. She was a very great cook. She had the best curry in town. I remember her teaching me to cook. And the first time she had me made roti, she told my father, come boy, come see your daughter cook for me. She make roti, you know. It come out like the map of Barbados, but you can still eat it. The roti, unfortunately, only half swell, and she ate the hot half that wasn't even cooked properly, without a complaint, just to please me. As life passed by with so much wonderful memories, it was in the year 1985, she was blessed with 21 grandchildren. First up was Christopher, then Kevin, Steffi, myself, Ellie, Sheldon, Kathleen, Connell, Dylan, Daniel, Narsha, then Dylan, Mark, Cherise, Natalie, Darian, Tyrell, Zachary, Lauren, Rebecca, Xavier, Chrissy, and Kyra. We, the grandchildren, share a lot of fond memories with our grandmother. But I must say, Steffi, Narsha, Cherise, and I were very, very fortunate to, be, to have become good cooks as we were taught by the queen herself, our grandmother. From the year 2010, she was then abundantly blessed with seven great-grandchildren, Ethan being the first, followed by Calman, Liam, Ciara, Carissa, Mackay, and Carell. Mommy was loved by every single person who met her. She always had a big smile on her face. She was always there to listen, to love, to care, to comfort people. Her neighbors, the Chansings, the Ramroops, and many others can attest to this. Mommy lived a long life, a wonderful life. She loved her children, grandchildren, and great-grand. Mama, you fought a great fight in this material world, and I'm very much certain you would attain the station of God through all the prayers being said for you. To my loving Grandma Bobby, I was fortunate to be named Ellie by you, and I will never forget making you happy by blessing you with Ethan. Your love was unconditional, and I will forever be more grateful to all that you have taught me and for making me into a young, stronger version of yourself. You have made a woman in your family, my mother and aunt, and by extension, my girl cousins, the strongest of warriors. And we will continue to live your life by caring for our families the way you did for yours. Your seven sons were your strength, and I pray they continue to be the pillars of strength for your family that you would want them to be. Your legacy you left with us will live on forever. My sweet love and grandma Bobby, you will be missed until our souls meet again. Ya Bahaulapa, your granddaughter Ellie. I would like to now kindly ask everyone on the live stream to please keep looking at your screens as there's a short video compilation I've put together with members of the family who are not be who are not able to be here with us. Jimmy and his family, especially, who are in Florida. Mommy, just remember. Yabahaulabha. 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 We'll see you when when we do. Yabahaulabha. Well, this is a very, very rough time for everybody and more so my family here because, you know, we're not there anywhere close by. But this is a message to my mother. Ma, I want to tell you, thanks for everything that you taught me in life. Um, all the skills that you have taught me, I'm able to share that with 
humanity and mankind today. And every kind bone in my body, every ounce of kindness and respect and dignity comes from you. And I want to promise you that I will always do my best to continue to serve mankind and humanity in the best way that I can. And of course, take care of the family that I have. So thank you so much for everything, for you know making all the sacrifices you did in this life. And I'm glad that you're able to be at peace, even though it's difficult. I'm glad that you're at peace. We love you and continue to send your blessings to all of us. <clears throat> Um, I just wanted to tell you that I'm grateful that you are not suffering anymore and that you're at rest and you're in a good place where you can not worry about, you know, being in a very difficult situation. And uh, I love you and I, that's basically it. We lost our matriarch and the queen, the crown of our family, and it is heartbreaking and saddening, and we're so soul crushed that this happened. And we are praying for the family and for mommy's progress in the next world of God, and we pray that she is with her loved ones and is comfortable and happy and just showering her family with love like she normally does. There's very few words that one can share during a time like this other than to say that we love you and we pray that everyone's okay and mommy will be deeply missed. And there's Jojo. Mommy, you always like to see Jojo. Thank you for being there for me from since birth till today. You've always said to me, Dana, I grew you up just like I did your mother and aunt. And those values I will always have with me for the rest of my life. You were my strength. And I know that you were there and you'll always be there. But this is hard and I don't know how I'll go forward. So please give me the strength so that I could go forward. I will always love you and until we meet again, go rest in each other be. Mommy, you get your wings girl and you're going to be with Papi and you're going to be with God. That is what you would have wanted. I did the best, best, best that I could for you. I want you to fly high with the angels and, and stand at the feet of the Lord. And all I want you to do, Ma, is look over us and bless, send your blessings upon us. I could be good. He used to always tell me, he used to feel sorry for me with, with my pain, but I could be good, Ma. I rest assured. I am happy. No sunshine when she's gone. It's not warm when she's away. But ain't no sunshine when she's gone And this house just ain't no home Now that she's Mommy Just remember Yaba how love her Yaba So we are here and the ceremony is about to be finished. We will close with a prayer for the departed by my uncle Tali. And after in which we will, the live will stop and then you all will go over to the next link where you all will be seeing the cemetery for the burial. But that will not happen until we commute from Penal to Monstuot. So you'll bear with us a bit 
and the live stream will kick in as soon as we move the monster out. So I'd like, now I'd like to call on Uncle Tali to come and say the final prayer before we leave Pinal. Allah Wabha. You know, my mother was a very amazing woman. You would have heard from the pastor. You would have seen a Hindu prayer, a Muslim prayer. And Ellie would have talked a little bit about where she came from. You know, be, be, becoming a Baha'i was the most amazing thing that she did, simply because she understood what it was about. She knew Christianity, she knew, she knew Islam and Hinduism. And then the Baha'i faith was introduced to her and she became a Baha'i. And by becoming a Baha'i, she became a stronger Hindu, a stronger Muslim, a stronger Christian. So much so that the pastor was here to share all those words and encouragement and spoke of her so highly. And then what mommy did, together with my father, late um, Nazar Joe Muhammad, they introduced the Baha'i faith to the children. And that is what, and today and now, we can stand here and do her final rites. How amazing is that? How amazing? Her grandchildren and her children. So mommy, thank you for bringing us to this amazing knowledge and this wisdom. O oh, thou kind Lord, this dearly cherished maid servant was attracted to thee, and through thy reflection and discernment, longed to attain thy presence and enter the realms. With tearful eyes, she fixed her gaze on the kingdom of mysteries. Many a night she spent in deep communion with thee, and many a day she lived in the intimate remembrance of thee. At every morn she was mindful of thee, and at every eve she centered her thoughts upon thee. Like unto a singing nightingale, she chanted the sacred verses, and like unto a mirror, she sought to reflect thy light. O thou forgiver of sins, open thou the way for this awakened soul to enter the kingdom, and enable this bird, trained by thy hand, to soar in the eternal rose garden. She is a fire with longing to draw nigh unto thee. Enable her to attain thy presence. She is distraught and distressed in separation from thee. Cause her to be admitted into thy heavenly mansion. O Lord, we are sinners, but thou, but thou art the forgiver. We are submerged in the ocean of shortcomings, but, but thou art the pardoner, the kind. Forgive our sins and bless us with thine abundance grace. Grant us the privilege of beholding thy countenance and give us the chalice of joy and bliss. We are captives of our own transgressions and thou art the king of bountiful favors. We are drowned in the sea of inequities, and thou art the Lord of infinite mercy. Thou art the giver, the glorious, the eternal, the bounteous, and thou art the all gracious, the all merciful, the omnipotent. He who is the bestower of gifts and the forgiver of sins, verily thou art he to whom we turn for the remission of our feelings, he who is the Lord of Lords. We all come from God. 
and unto him do we return. We all come from God, and unto him do we return. So before we close, we can't just not sing part of the song. So we'll sing the entire thing. We all come from God, and unto him do we return. We all come from God, and unto him do we return. Like a wave going back to the ocean, like a ray of the light returning to the sun. We all come from God, and unto him do we return. We all come from God, and unto him do we return. We're on a journey from God unto God, to the source from which all things flow. We're on a journey from God unto God, for there's no place to go. We all come from God, and unto Him do we return. We all come from God, and unto Him do we return. Yabahaulapa. Yabahaulapa. Thank you, everybody, for viewing. Please stay and be here with us till we reach the Monstot Cemetery, where you all will see the burial. Well, I wish that heaven that visiting our I could just show well, I wish that heaven a visiting hour so I could just show up and bring the news getting old and I wish that you'd met her the things that you learned from me I got them all from you I just stay a while and we'll put all the world to right the little ones will grow and I'll still drink your favorite wine soon they're going to close but I'll see you has changed since you've been away well, I wish that heaven visiting hour so I could just swing by and ask your advice what would you do in my situation I haven't a clue how I'd even What would you do? Cause you'd always do what's right It just took a while Until my worries disappeared I'll tell you that I'm scared Of turning out a failure You say remember that The answer's in the love that we give So much has changed
If I could take you home, but I know what they say, that it's for the best. So I will live life the way you taught me and make it on my own. Well, I will close the door and I will open up my heart. And everyone I love will know exactly who you are. Cause this is not goodbye. has changed since you've been I wish that heaven was visiting our so I could just show up and bring the news. She's getting old, and I wish that you'd met her. The things that you learned from me, I got them all from you. And I just stay away. I wish that heaven was visiting our so I could just show up and bring the news. She's getting old, and I wish that you'd met her. The things that you learned from me, I got them all from you. I just stay away. Change 
And I would ask them If I could take you home But I know what they say That it's for the best So I will live life the way you taught me And make it on my own Well, I will close the door Just changed since you've been.